An Ohio congressional candidate is still under fire tonight after allegedly misrepresenting his military experience. We spoke with veterans earlier this week about how they feel about J.R. Majewski saying he served in combat in Afghanistan without providing records to prove this. Our state house reporter Morgan Trow caught up with one of the most decorated servicemen in our state government, Secretary of State Frank LaRose, who weighed in on this controversy. I could no longer sit on my hands and say nothing. Backlash continues after congressional candidate J.R. Majewski still hasn't provided definite evidence he was a combat veteran in Afghanistan. The Associated Press revealed that he has no record of fighting in the country, but was actually about 1,600 miles away in Qatar loading planes. Anyone insinuating that I did not serve in Afghanistan is lying. Majewski's campaign said they have a service member who would corroborate the story and that served in Afghanistan with the candidate. They offered me an interview on the condition of anonymity. At this point, we've declined that interview because it does not reach our journalistic standards for hiding someone's identity. And while veterans around Ohio have been speaking out against this, Ohio GOP politicians have been pretty quiet about it until now. So it'll be up to him to uh, you know, get the facts out there and everything else. But this isn't the first time Republican Secretary of State Frank LaRose says he had to deal with veterans allegedly falsifying records. He was a Green Beret, a member of a Special Operations Armed Force Unit. They call that stolen valor when people do that. It's a shameful thing to do. He called this behavior crooked, which is why LaRose says Majewski, if he is telling the truth, needs to share the evidence now and clear his name. The people of Ohio's 9th District We'll see through these lies. But a newly released AP investigation alleges this wasn't the only thing Majewski had not told the truth about. Majewski finished his service just one rank above where he started, which veterans say is a rarity for a normal military career. Majewski's team originally said this was because of a fight he got into with another airman. But records show that he actually was demoted for drunk driving and is ineligible to re-enlist. So, you know, uh, it's good that, that, that folks investigate this kind of thing. And, um, you know, the facts eventually come out. Majewski responded to the AP saying, quote, the mistake is now more than 20 years old. I'm sure we've all done something as young adults that we looked back on and wondered, what was I thinking? And I'm sure our parents and grandparents share these sentiments. We reached out to his team for comments, but once we kept asking them for more information regarding their anonymous source, they stopped responding. At the State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.